everyone. I wanted to try to heat emboss an image on fabric. And I know that people have stamped words or images on fabric in the past. That's nothing new. But I wanted to try to heat emboss one to see how that would come out. So not only would you have the image or the word, but it would also be raised a little bit and it would have a shine to it. So I'm going to do that today with Embossing powder from Ranger in super fine detail, clear. I'm going to use my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Okay. And the heat tool that I use is from Wagner. Uh, there's, you can get heat tools anywhere. There's crafting, you know, for the crafters, there's heat tools. This is just from, um... I think I got this one at Walmart, but I liked this brand because it heats up very quickly in no time. So, you know, when, when I start a project, I just want to be able to do it quick and go through it. And I don't want to wait for it to get to, you know, I don't want to wait too long for it to get hot. So I stuck with this one, but anyone's fine. And the stamp says inspired thoughts, so... Let's see how it comes out. Okay. So here's the image. I like that font and I like the words. I like this a lot. see how it comes when we put the powder on it have you ever watched Gina K put powder back she like puts the powder back and there's so much more still on like whatever she's using and there's so much more that can be tapped in it and like put it tap it more in there it's like I don't know that drives me crazy I try to get every little bit back into the bottle okay so here it is with the powder on it and let's see how we do let's see if this works how I think it it's either gonna be great or it's gonna be horrible so let's see what happens Okay, let's see. It's not really raised. It's a little bit, it's a little bit shiny in certain places. Obviously not as shiny as it would be on paper, but I just wanted to see if it would even work a little bit. It does, you know, it does work a little bit. But obviously not like if you did it on paper, so... That's the image. Try to use cotton fabric or something similar to that. If you try to use, sh like this is satin. See, it doesn't work. It'll bleed right through. This is the side that I embossed. This is the side that I did not emboss, but see, it's still, it still kind of bled through. I mean, you could still use it. But that's how it came. So that's those. And that's this one. So that's how it came out. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. And happy crafting. Bye.